This week's episode of the High Level Release Radar, where we recap <laughs> all of the new releases that rolled out from the week. It's a special week, Ryan. It's a very special week. We're traveling. Uh, we had an enthusiastic leadership retreat, and we're happy to share all the fun stuff that happened this week, which we are totally caught up on. I fear, Ryan, that last night we may have been overserved. It's, it's a possibility, but we can't confirm or deny. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to get through it. Let's hop into the releases. We actually have a guest studio, so we may have some other team members brave enough to hop on. And Joyce is even in the room. Oh, boy. She runs the money. <laughs> but let's hop into the first week uh, release of the week, Ryan. What do we got here? Launchpad product tour guide. Yeah, so this is something we're testing out with the Launchpad. If you didn't know, we have a new Launchpad that is being displayed for $97 plans. And within that brand new technology that we have, uh, you remember that we have a lot of customizability built into it so that eventually agencies can actually customize what happens um, and the types of videos that are displayed on the Launchpad. With that, we're testing out an awesome new feature where we highlight product tours of various different parts of the app so that when they're in there, we, we highlight the things that they need to be doing, action steps that they should be taking so that they can get the most out of that particular area of the product. I love it. And now we're streaming live in the community. Uh, <laughs> we're going to get there, Ryan. We've got our first check-in of the week from CCP saying, hey, hey to you, CCP. Happy Friday. Let's check out our next release of the week. Contacts got an update. Activity. Oh, this looks really nice. The activity section got a huge upgrade. It did. Uh, so more UI than anything else, but we're bringing in a lot more structured menu and data and displaying things in a way that makes a lot of sense, um, both from a timeline perspective, but then also being able to click into each of these activities and see very well structured data so you can see everything that went on in that particular activity. That one is massive. What yeah. day did that roll out, actually? Because I'm You're surprised. You're asking a question I don't know the answer to. <laughs> I'm really curious to see the reaction to this. I mean, this is a huge update. So I'm assuming everybody's loving it. But let us know, as always, in the comments. We got our next check-in from Anne-Marie. Always nice to see you. What's Happy up, birthday month. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks for the shout-out in the group as well. All right, our next release from the week, Email Builder got an update. You can rearrange elements and layouts with the arrows, yeah. which you can do, where is the other place? In well, the web builder. In the yeah. web builder, uh, funnel builder, website builder. So this is for those folks that don't like to drag things around and guess where they're going <laughs> to land. Uh, this, this is a really easy button for just moving it up or down. Yeah, that's a nice little quality of life update there. Next up, WordPress SS. Okay, Ryan, <laughs> SSH access and key management. Now, this is something that Chase has been asking for for a long time. He's a, he's a big <laughs> command line interface kind of guy. Uh, so if you know what SSH is, just know that you have access to WordPress instances. Uh, and you can do all kinds of fancy programming uh, if you hate GUIs. So what does SSH stand for, Ryan? We got We'll, we'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. Vroom might know. Vroom, what's SSH stand for? Uh, secure something, something. Uh, <laughs> he does not code anymore, folks. So Drop don't it in worry the comments. All right, next update. Another WordPress update. Oh, this is the same thing, just another screenshot. Yeah, it's another screenshot. All right, moving on. Dashboard's got an update. You can reschedule. Oh, we have a reschedule filter for appointments now. This is kind of big, right? So mm -hmm. if you run, if you run a lot of appointments, sometimes what would happen in the past where they would reschedule or they would cancel. And then it was like, well, where the heck did this thing go? Now you can track when people are rescheduling. Um, sometimes it ends up putting them on the uh, the naughty list. Uh, they reschedule too many times um, or you're getting a lot of rescheduling. Now you can kind of analyze that data. So that both happens in the table view and then also uh, in the overview for like a graphical display of, of those appointments over time. Love it. Dashboard's getting more and more robust. We got our next check-in coming in from Sarvesh. Hi, all the way from India. Big thank you, brothers in India, who are making it possible for us. Yes, we have a ton of the team members from India, the leaders that are here on the retreat. I'm surprised there aren't more here in the room, but maybe we'll get a guest <laughs> check-in in in a bit. Thanks for saying, hey. Let's check out our next release of the week. Affiliate manager. Speaking of affiliate managers, <laughs> we've got a guest check-in from Kelsey who runs our affiliate program. Kelsey, you having a good time? Yeah, having a blast. Do Leadership you, Retreat's fun. Do you want to announce this one? 
Yeah, we have refreshed affiliate profile editing. Ooh, so you could mark as an active, add sales manually. I know that as a run and high level affiliate program, that's super helpful to make sure everything's nice and right, just in case. And you guys are moving your whole program over to our affiliate manager, aren't you? Mm, I, 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 don't, I don't know about that. Okay, um, we'll move cannot on. Cannot confirm or deny. <laughs> Hi, everybody. We got our check-in coming in from Dave. Nice to see you, Dave. Hope all is well out in Jacksonville. And Kathy, hi, nice to see you again. Happy you're having a great Friday. Let's check out our next release of the week. Another affiliate manager update. We have a fresh, refreshed affiliate profile editing. Yeah, so Looks just nice. a, a simpler UI, being able to tab through different things instead of having a big, long form. Oh, Ryan, are we going to tease the thing that we saw yesterday? Mm, maybe. Mm. Sounds like it didn't make the cut. Okay. Next up, bulk action email campaigns are now visible in email marketing. This is nice, and it also defaults you to the stats now? Yes, it does. Which is nice. So now it's all in one place. You're going to see um, after this comes the merger of the data between bulk and everything else, right? Yep. Cool. So email uh, reporting is getting more and more robust by the week. And we've got Martin asking if we're live. Well, Martin, if you're seeing us, we're live, man, yeah, right? We're here. <laughs> it's happening. All right. Next update of the week. AI got an update. We now, this is huge. Multiple knowledge bases. Yeah. Create up to 15 knowledge bases. And the idea here is that you have real specific knowledge that bots get trained on. So it's not just one set of FAQs that you're trying to get different uh, AI agents to understand. You can really tailor all the data and all the information about what they do as an AI agent, uh, whether it's voice or conversation AI. Um, so this gets, gets you much better, clearer, more accurate answers to questions that uh, get asked to the bots. Yeah, that's huge. So now you can basically have different yeah. bots trained on different things that do different stuff. Uh, we're really taking it to another level. Yeah, you think about AI it like, you know, around. if you build a team and maybe you need somebody who's a PhD in chemistry, you'd hire that person because they have a knowledge base of chemistry. You wouldn't say, hey, go to college and then we need you to do everything. So it's specialization. I love it. Yeah. Next up, they, Funnel Builder got a revamped right sidebar. And I think this one... Uh, was closed by default, but they, the team saw the feedback, they acted on it, it's already updated, so now yeah. it should be expanded by default. But it actually does some cool stuff. It, it remembers what you had open and what you didn't, right? Yep. And you can actually even reorder them if you want, I believe? I believe so. If not, that that should be coming. But uh, props to the team for kind of reacting really quickly, getting, getting that uh, update pushed out. I think that was earlier this morning, yeah. uh, late night for India. Yeah. So if you haven't checked it out yet, check it out. Let us know what you think. And let's check out our next update of the well, week. Oh, that's same that's one? just kind of okay, showing okay. off the, the UI there, how you can expand them and so forth. Yeah. Nice yeah. and clean UI. Everything's grouped. Uh, should be intuitive. But yeah, check it out if you haven't and let us know. Next update of the week comes from Chat Widget. You can now load the, the Chat Widget now loads after the cookie consent if you're using the cookie consent. Correct? Right, right. So this is a bit of a cleanup issue here where it was sort of being hidden behind it. So now we sort of reordered the way that it loads. And so that way it's not going to interfere with anything. Makes sense. We're all about compliance. Love it. Next update comes from mobile app. We now have inbound call transferring. This is one that I know has been uh, very much asked for. Yeah. Uh, I believe you could do it on the, the web app, but you could do it on mobile. And of course, you'd want to be able to do that. So now that's possible. Yes. Check it out. Uh, do you need to update your app version probably? So if yeah. you haven't given an update, give it an update. Check it out. You can now route calls on the fly from your phone. We got another screenshot, another screenshot of that. Of that. Yeah. UI looks great. They always go dark mode. They do. I'm a light mode kind of guy. Dark. Well, <laughs> to each his own. This is really nice too. So with this update also comes DND shortcut. So when you get an in, and this is for inbound spam, right? Yeah. So th this is this is something that's been asked for for a long time. I think it just kind of got kicked around a bit. Uh, so we're really happy to be able to get this one out. I know that before it was just this laborious process where you'd have to go in and log into the, the web app to get this done uh, or go through a bunch of a bunch of steps. And now you can just swipe, hit DND for inbound, et cetera, and, and go forward that way. 
Yes, this one should be met with uh, rave approval. Yeah, because I want to hear claps. Please right. clap. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. So now when you get spam, you just mark them as spam, and you won't get a call from that number again. And I think that one probably had a million votes on the ideas board. It did. It did. Our next update of the week is email stats dashboard refresh. We kind of mentioned this one earlier, but when you go to the emails tab now, you're going to default to the statistics. The graphs look awesome. The data is great. We've got a little note here that says, yeah. That's yeah, not, that, that's no biggie. Um, but yeah, check it out. You're going to be, it's much more intuitive. You get there, you see your stats, you've got campaigns, templates. You'll also be able to bring in like some sample data if you choose to. Oh, yeah, so that's we want to give some optionality there. We don't want to just throw it in, but if you want to see the sample data, that can be helpful for understanding. What I kind of feel like it should be there by default and you turn it off. But hey, I made the request. We'll see if, <laughs> we'll see if it gets approved. Um, but that's what that looks like if you want to activate your sample data. Yep. We got a lot of screenshots from this yeah. one. All right. There we go. Our next update comes from listings. You can now set up CTAs after payment. Yeah. Which is pretty well, cool. This the setup CTAs would be like, hey, go do this thing. So I think before you were paying and then like there was a disconnect between right, right, right. okay, now what do I do? So we're we're doing a lot of work around this, making the flows happen and, and not just leaving you in a random empty room. Um so yeah, more, you're definitely going to see more usage from this. Yeah. Folks get in there, and now they kind of know what to do. Um, they right paid after for it. They, they should use it. <laughs> after you know? they make payment. <laughs> All right, our next update. This is the same one. We got yep. another screenshot of that. Looks great. Client Portal got an update. We now have temporary magic links. Brian, why would you want a temporary magic link? Well, for security, right? You don't want to give somebody a, a, a magic link, and then maybe they share it, or their email gets hacked, what have you. And so this is just a nice... Uh, lockdown security kind of uh, padlock that we're putting on it. A lot more security updates are coming, right? The oh, yeah. Always at work on that. Heard. And then, yeah, we, we just have a screenshot here uh, of the email that gets sent out with that, uh, with the login link. Nice. All right, our next update is from Prospecting Tool. We now have competitor analytics. So this is pretty cool. You can basically benchmark against competitors um, right in Prospecting. Yes, and you can expect this to go a lot deeper as well. Uh, maybe not just looking at stats themselves, but strategies, things that are working for, for other customers or, or for other competitors uh, that you might want to implement in that business. We got our claps, Ryan. Yay, Emery and Kathy <laughs> are loving that update. I can't remember which one it was. Oh, inbound DND. Yeah, yes. that was a big one. All right, let's check out our next There's update. There's a few more of these, oh, we got these a, screenshots. A couple of nice screenshots from the competitor reports. Mm -hmm. I like the little emoji in there. That's nice. Oh, and we're already at my favorite <laughs> point it. of the show where we get to talk about some long awaited upcoming releases. It is happening. <laughs> Let's see what Ryan's got for us this week. Coming soon, featured posts and blogs. Oh, I didn't know yeah. that. That's awesome. So we'll have these featured posts, which if you read any blog, you know that there's going to be featured items. So we've got really nice uh, enhancement there, along with a Big slew of UI improvements there and the ability to customize exact customize exactly what the blog post page looks like, including like being able to hide the author, things of that nature, change the styles of different buttons. Um, so a lot more flexibility coming in there as we are starting to use obviously our own product there um, and building out our blog. That that feedback is getting fast tracked. That's so right. You can welcome. check that out at gohighlevel.com slash blog. And uh, love it. Love to see the blog builder getting more and more robust. All right. Let's see what else Ryan's got for us coming soon. Oh, this is my favorite. Video testimonials. <laughs> but I want to see the front end widget. Varun says he's seen it. I have not. Have you? I haven't seen it. Let's yeah. talk about what this is and why it's so awesome. So video reviews are a lot more powerful, right, than just reading uh, some text. And you can see this in, uh, like, Amazon does it pretty well. Or, or they will have creators that like review that actual product. And so it just adds a huge layer of authenticity to what that person's saying. And, uh, you know, kind of guarantees they're not a bot because you have a video of a real person. Um, so excited to see what this looks like. Totally. And if you've never used one of these, they're so cool the way they work. Basically, you'll be able to embed something on your site. Somebody goes there, whether they're on their phone or their computer, and they just basically click the button. It turns on the camera. They can record their testimonial. The video is going to come straight into your sub account. And then we will have a widget for you to display those videos on your site. 
so you'll be able to pick which videos you want to display. I'm yeah. sure there'll be a couple of nice themes. And again, I'm dying to see the design on the front <laughs> end of the widget. Um, but it's incredibly powerful. Uh, you definitely want to be building your video testimonial library, and pretty soon you're going to have the tools to do it right inside of your high-level account. Can't wait. Ryan, we made it. We did it. Hallelujah. Back to bed <laughs> for me. Just kidding. We've got a whole bunch of fun stuff yes, that we're going to we get do. to today out here in Santa Cruz, um, California, man, your home turf. It is. Only six hours away, but close enough to home. It's been a good time. <laughs> we hope you're all having a great Friday. We hope you have a great weekend, and we will see you again next Friday. Take care.